Hello and welcome to the video. Hello all my lovely subscribers. Can I just say, you were looking ravishing today. Are you, you, you wearing, you wearing a new cologne? You wearing some new, some new perfume? I can tell. I can tell there's something about you today. You know, you've got some thing about you, some aura that's mystifying and mysterious. Um, it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? So today, following up my video on what is nihilism, I am a nihilist. I am a nihilist, what is nihilism rather, I think. I think that's going to how, how I'm going to title it. If you're watching this straight after the other, it's basically the same setting and t-shirt and red face. So it is straight after, if you're wondering. And today I'm going to be talking about positive nihilism. What the hell is it? How can you be positive when your when your core belief is meaningless in life? Meaninglessness in life. So let's get into the video. So in the last video I was talking about what nihilism in is, I've already mentioned what it is, and my experience with going through my existential crisis and becoming a nihilist and feeling good about it and feeling bad about it and all my different observations from that. Not all of them, because you'll have to watch the full video series if you want to watch it. That's the that's the little catch twenty twenty two. You'll be be coming back with those plucky binging attitudes and uh, don't, don't, don't be binging. Don't be binging on these series, boy. Structure it. You need to have daily doses. You need to plan out your doses throughout the day of daily Asperger's content. So positive nihilism. It's not all negative to be a nihilist. Positive nihilism is usually a result. Like, can, can't always be a result, but it is a result of becoming a nihilist and living with that for extended amount of time, depending on how long you work on it. A lot of people, when they become nihilists, they stagnate. They think that's all there is to do. Uh, they've, they've learned the meaning of life. The meaning of life being I'm the only thing that I am is consciousness and I don't have free will and all that kind of stuff that I, I, I do believe. I don't believe I have free will and I believe the only thing I am is just consciousness, just being able to observe things. And I'm not even myself, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? It probably makes sense to some of you over, over probably just thinking what the hell is he talking about. But anyway, I, I am just consciousness. I am not Thomas. Um, that is my belief. And once you reach that point, a lot of nihilists will stop and they will stop their endeavours into philosophy because they feel like they've beaten themselves down so corner so much that they've found out the whole meaning of existence and uh, that's it for them. They've done. They're done. They'll just spend their life drinking and smoking and all that kind of stuff and never touching the subject again. But for some of us, some of us more positive, growthy type people. We don't like to be like that. We have something, you know, that even though we, we have this core belief and it's such a big part of our life, we want to be good, you know? We want to find some way of anchoring ourselves into the reality that we have to deal with because it's the only thing that we've got. And we know that, so we need to try making the most of it. And this is the foundations of positive nihilism. So when you become a nihilist, you you believe in your soul that there is no meaning in life. And that opens a lot of doors. Like you think that I just shut a lot of doors and that's it. But another thing that you realize is that although there's no meaning in life, why don't you just make your own meaning in life? It comes onto the whole thing that I was talking in the last video about pretending and getting into a routine and forgetting about it. Um, but it's more constant. So you know you know about it, you've, you've gone through these cycles a lot and it's become part of you and it's become part of your daily life. But you can deal with it and you, you're being positive and you're making your own life and you, although you've got this core belief, you're having other beliefs on top of that. You're making your own reality around you, as to say. There are a lot of positives to being a nihilist. It can open a lot of gates. You can think less about what other people think about you. Because you know there's when you think there's no meaning, you may as well just do what you want to do. And you may as well just not care about 
all the haters and all the silly people who don't, you know, particularly understand. Or I'm not saying they're silly. That's that's not that's not right. But the people who don't understand, and it's just you just live your life more easily, like at that point. Obviously, not straight off the bat, but it does take a lot of time. Um, but it does happen. So that's one of the one of the things is being being a positive nihilist. You create your own your own fictional reality, as it were. In terms of our brain, we think you know it's a fictional reality. We're making it for ourselves. But you know we've made one, and we're we progress in that, and we are compassionate, and we have the op the unique opportunity to pick our own core values. So when I say life is meaningless, that it basically just wipes away your core values that you have. Not all of them, obviously. A lot of them are going to be personality, and a lot of them are going to persist, but they're going to be in different ways. And you get to choose them. You get to be more conscious of what you want to be and what kind of being that you want to be. So one thing is, yeah, confidence. Like, you don't care what people think. To an extent, obviously, I'm not going to go robbing people or, I don't know, taking a dump on the street or something. Um, because I don't care, because that'll have consequences, you know, like, I know I said I don't want to take a dump because that's going to completely ruin all career ch chances that I have. Yeah, confidence. Confidence is key. Or key. Can't remember which one it was. Once you become in this state and you, you start to choose what you want to do in life and you, you truly believe that you have the ability to mould it, because you've got rid of it once you had a clean slate and you can mould it in any way that you want. So you can start you can start doing stuff that you like. Like I just did science and taekwondo before all of this. I decided that I wanted to make something out of my depression and my negative experiences and try and help people. And that was my that was my like core value that I wanted to make a big part of myself. And although it's very hard for me to feel happy, as as sad as that sounds, um it it's warming to know that other people, I can make other people happy. And that's all that I want. I want people to understand. I want people to be sympathetic towards me and each other. And I want, I want people to understand me, which is like kind of one of my core values. And once you make those core values, you can start building yourself up in the way that you want to, to do it. I'm not trying to make this some life coach saying, Go look into philosophy, have these horrible ex ex existential crisis and become a nihilist. Like, please don't. Like, there's no, there's no reason to do that. Just keep your sanity. There's no, there's no silver lining to learning about this stuff. It's um, once you get into the hole of it and once you get into it, it can be very damaging to yourself and to a lot of people. It can put you into a bad place. So don't, don't think of it as the positives of being nihilist, of being a nihilist and why you should be a nihilist. It's just seeing the silver lining in, in a, a very convoluted and strange belief in life. Another thing that happens is you feel less shame and you feel less outcasted for doing something that isn't typically socially um, normal. For example, if I want to have dinner in the morning, I'll have some dinner in the morning. Uh, no, obviously I, I quite like the routine, but the point of it is, is that I'm not going to care if someone says, why are you having dinner in the morning? Like, why are you having breakfast at night? Like, um, that's just a small example. It's not, not the, the big picture here, but that's a little example that you can, you can kind of expand off. So for example, one of the social norms that people don't do is post videos of themselves breaking down and having a, a really intense depressive episode, which I've done. Because um, I believe that being honest and being truthful is more important than my own like egotistical belief about myself. And that comes into the, the next point. It can improve your personality in some ways, actually. It could do, and it could not. But it opens some doors to improving yourself from different different angles that usually people wouldn't be able to go through when you when you have this belief. One of the things with myself in particular, I used to, and um, honestly, I, I I definitely think that I have a very a core belief inside myself 
that I am better than everybody else. Uh, I still have that. Um, I'm not very ha happy about it, but it's, 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 it's what I think, and it's, um, it's bad. Uh, but it can also be good for confidence and stuff, and it's always good to take yourself in the highest esteem out of everybody else. Um, but before all of this philosophy stuff, I didn't, I didn't like every every opinion or of life or uh, the reasons for people doing stuff. They didn't seem because they weren't fully logical, and I couldn't understand the emotional aspects of their reasoning. I wasn't very able to accept that people were, you know, sane and understood things because obviously I couldn't experience what they were experiencing. And it was a very, you know, um, hypocritical way of thinking about things considering my own views and stuff being very different to other people's. Another thing would be as if some of my friends liked drugs or they smoked or they drink or they swore. I'd immediately put them down in my, my head because that was sort of a classifying system for myself for filtering through people that were worth you know, being around and were sane and um, knew like how to be logical and stuff like that and that was a point, an important thing for me back then. After being a nihilist and after going through all of this I realised that, you know, what the only difference between a person exactly the same as them who didn't take drugs is just the fact that they don't take drugs and that's just like something that just never appeared apparent to myself and it's, it's been very good for me and I've been able to connect with people that I wouldn't usually connect with because I've put them into a certain group or um, put them into a classification a group the stereotype that I've got to avoid and that's uh, one of my things that, that has really helped me and has really helped me socialise and connect with people because I feel like I can connect with people more and they're more like me than I used to think they were um, and it's been very therapeutic and, and very beneficial to me. I'm not saying that, that you have to you have to go through that philosophical thought, past, thought process to get to this point where you, you accept people and stuff but it was a very important factor in my change in my personality and my change in my view of people. As a whole, if I was to conclude this video into something, into a little summary, I would say that the main thing that now, that having this belief has is it gives you power. It gives you power over yourself, over those thought processes that have stopped you doing things because of, you know, feeling embarrassed or, you know, not, not wanting to be people to think that you're going off the rails or becoming really different or all those kind of things, um, it stops you from caring as much from that. And you, you don't need to care about that, which is the great thing. There are some things that you should care about, of course. It's all, it's all relative and to an extent. Like, I'm not going to go killing people just because... Oh god, if I mention that in a video, like... <laughs> oh no! No, it's happening again! <laughs> I'm not going to go hitting people just because I think they're a bunch of cells that that's the only thing that they are and the bunch of cells of consciousness and you know if I if I do something to them then you know like who cares like their life is meaningless and everything's going to end in in the the end like all your achievements and stuff are going to be dissolved into the blackness of the universe ending kind of thing so it's not like <laughs> I'm struggling to get myself together now. Yeah, it can definitely give you a lot of power in your life. It can change your life around in a different way. It's not worth it. Don't do it. But it's good to understand this stuff, and I hope that you do take me seriously when I talk about these things, because they're very deep, deep in my, you know, a deep value of my mind. Like, it's, it's basically my one value that governs what I do. Um, so I hope that, you know, you take it seriously and... You understand that it's not a mental condition or anything like that. It's a, a philosophical standpoint and it's as valid as anybody else's. So thank you very much for watching. I'm trying to make these videos as upbeat as possible because they are not the most positive and happy subjects in the world. 
Uh, I hope you're finding it interesting and let me know whether you want to know, know some new video content from myself at some point. I think I'm tired again. Thing is with autism, like I can never tell when emotions are taken over until they get really intense. So it's I don't know if I'm tired yet. I think I'm probably tired, but you know, until I feel like I'm gonna knock out on the sofa, I'm not gonna really feel it. So it's um it's difficult. Anyway, that's not the topic. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you want to ask me some questions about it, if you're interested, if you completely think I'm a loony, let me know in the comments and I'll be very happy to ignore that. <laughs> but for the rest of you who are taking me seriously and you watch my videos and stuff and you're part of my community and part of the old buddy friendship group that we've got going on here, um, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video where I dissect a dog on Doomsday.